Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, MAJ Customs, and today we will be doing a kids design putting on 100% Gildan cotton t-shirt, as well as the Wonder Nation t-shirt. We will be using the Starcraft for dark material paper, okay? As well as you want to get the mask film for what is it the ink printable okay this is the mask that we will be putting over the image once your image is printed out and as well as cut it comes in handy the mask really comes in handy when you have the individual letters as well as all these little individual dots it'll just lift your image up all together okay so without further ado y'all let's get into this video so i can show y'all how we created these t-shirts Okay, everyone, so here we are in Silhouette Studios. This is the design that I will be using with the StarCraft paper. I will be putting this on two different color shirts, one red and one blue. You can find this design in Creative Fabrica. Let me see if I can bring it up. Here it is in Creative Fabrica. So all I did was click on the download button, and then up here where my arrow is, I just open it up. Game over, back to school. Open, oops, I clicked on it twice. And then I can just drag it over into Silhouette Studios, just like so, okay? So what I'm going to do is, because I want it to stand out, if you notice, let's see if I can shrink this. It came in really large. Okay, so let's shrink it some more. And if you notice, I'm going to take the red outline off and it's gonna look like this. And I want it to stand out. So what I did in this image over here on the left is I did an offset. So you can go ahead and go to your right side panel and click on the little star icon and that's your offset. And then you just click on offset and it'll give you an outline. And then I made it black because again, like I said, I want it to stand out on these two shirts that I'll, I'll be putting this design on. And then I just take the red outline off, just clicking on the, um, over here in the top left-hand corner is a red-like uh, rectangle, so just click on the arrow and click the little diamond-looking icon when it opens up your color palette, and it, it'll take that red outline right off, okay? So once you get your image size, I have to do a 4T, and I believe it's a size seven, eight. So for the 14, I'm just gonna go six and a half by six and a half, and then I'm going to leave it just like this. We're not going to mirror it, okay? Because again, this is a paper that um, you're just gonna lift the design up off the backing, okay? So now that I'm good to go with this design, I am going to go ahead and print this one out, as well as I'm gonna do seven, seven and a half by seven and a half oops um, my outline moved I'll just redo that um so I'll just do this image over here seven and a half by seven and a half for the size seven eight I'm gonna delete that and delete all this too all right so let me size this image right here seven oops went too big That's good and that's good. Now I can just hit my offset for this one. All right, make it black. And take off the red outline. Okay, all right, so both my images are good to go. I'm gonna print this one out first and then print out this one second and then I'll let y'all see what they look like when I come back. Before I forget you all, you're gonna have to turn on your registration mark. So you can go over here to page setup in the top right hand corner, click on the last page icon right here and turn your registration marks on because once we print this through the printer, through the regular inkjet printer, we are going to put it, load it up in Cameo, um, the Cameo 4 machine I have, and we are going to get this cut out. That way we can weed it, okay? I forgot to tell you all that but that is the step. So offset, 
registration marks, load up into your regular printer, and then we load it into the Cameo 4. Okay, everyone, so I got my image already um, getting ready to cut. I wanted to show you all the settings on here. So what you wanna do is make sure you hit cut edge. That way it doesn't, um, this is what it's gonna, it's gonna show you everything it's gonna cut individually out, okay? And again, it's okay because we are going to use a mask to lift the image up. So it doesn't matter if it's into like individual pieces like this, okay? So don't worry about that. So blade that two passes two and force 15 and speed four, okay? Are the settings that I will be using. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and load my image in and I'm not gonna cut it on camera because my cameo is quite loud. So I will be back. Okay, everyone, so here goes the image that is cut out already. I'm just going to remove it from the mat. Be careful. So I'm just going to... You want to be careful because this tape will lift some of this white backing um, off. Alright, put this to the side. And now I'm just going to weed. And make sure you go slow because the image will move. The backing ain't that sticky. It's real soft. This is I'm just going slow so I make sure I don't lift any of my image up. Okay. Make sure that my letters stay flat. Going with my scissors. And make sure you know your your design, what I mean by that. Make sure you know every piece that has to come up. You don't want to leave nothing behind. I think this should come up. No. Alright. See how these little dots are going to be difficult. But it's okay. If I don't get them all up, I'm okay. Okay, see one dot came up off my, with my finger. Alright. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the excess off. Two dots came up. See? But I just lay them flat back down. Position them wherever. And I cut along with my scissors, you all, because I don't want to pull the image up and then mistakenly pulling up like my letters or something. So I just cut as I go, cut off the axis as I go. Oh. 
holding my letter down sometimes and then pulling the excess up as I hold it because if I don't it will lift my letter and then my image will be messed up because then you're trying to lay the letter back down and line it up with the words okay all right cut here okay so i'm just gonna finish weeding this off camera because i don't want to take up too much time and then i'll come back and show you how i do it with the mask Okay, everyone, so my design is done. Make sure you weed your G, your E, your O, your R, and all right. And next, we will be using now the mask. This is what it looks like. Um, it's mask film for inkjet printable, okay? That's the paper we're using, so this will be fine. We can use this. <clears throat> this is why I told you at the computer that it didn't matter if it was individual pieces because I'm going to use this to lift it up so you just want to try to get the corner up be careful you don't poke yourself okay I'm going to start like this Okay, top, and then I'm just going to lay it. Be careful how you do this. And then you wanna grab your squeegee and just rub it as you go up. I already messed up on there. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> it's supposed to go slow. All right. And I have a little... Just got to be careful. That's all. All right. All right. So we just want to be careful on how we do it. And then it should easily just come up. If not, then just go over it again with the squeegee. Lift it up. I think it's still not coming up. What if I go this way? Alright. That whatever little piece that is. Alright, so you kind of get the idea, okay, of how this goes. So you get the idea, it's gonna lift your image up and now I'm gonna place it on the red shirt over here. Okay, is this, okay. This is a gilded, 100% cotton gilded red shirt. And then you just wanna place it in the middle. Hold on. I have a white little piece right here. I'm gonna cut that off because I don't know if it'll stain my shirt. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm pressing this 350 for 30 seconds. 
And then when it counts down to five, I will be back. Two and one. <laughs> Colors are vibrant too. This one. All right. Not careful, you can get little white, white marks on there. But this is what this one looked like. Thought it came out real cute. You don't have to press it twice. Uh uh, it doesn't say press it twice. Okay. Now I have another one that's going on this one. This is a Wonder Nation from Walmart, okay? And that design I already have on the mask. All right, so I just have to peel it up. Some of my dots ain't sticking, so give me one second. Okay, I have my design lifted. All right. And about right there. And again, make sure you don't have any extra little white pieces hanging around the edges and stuff because it'll stick to your shirt. <clears throat> okay there we go and i will be back when it counts down to five seconds one i really like this um starcraft paper this is the wonder nation Look at how vibrant those colors look. Okay, everyone, so here they are. Gildan, bright colors. I really like this paper. Overall, I do. Um, I may be ordering some more because I do like it overall. And then this is the Wonder Nation. Also really cute. And I will do an update um, once they've been washed a couple times. Because I know a lot of people, that's their main question is, how do they hold up during the wash? Well, I really won't know that because I'm just not making the video. But I will do an update on them when they get washed. And I also did it on black. This is just a shirt that I use to, like, if I'm not sure about how an image will come out, I always put it on an old t-shirt. And this is how it came out black really nice and you don't have to do the offset if you're using black because the white will pop okay so again i hope you all like this video um don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell and we will see y'all in the next video bye